What's up, Wildcats? It's Parker. And I'm Michael. And this is a brand new look at the Performing Arts Center. The look isn't brand new. The Performing Arts Center is brand new. <laughs> All right. Welcome to the new Performing art. Oh, my God. Castaways. We are castaways. Avoid them. Our senior spotlight this week is ASV president. She drives her friend Kate Johnson to school every day in a red Subaru at 8.05 a.m. Sheesh! It's Emma Colin. Hey guys, it's Emma. I'm a senior and I'm, your, I'm this week's senior spotlight. I'm in person. It's first period. Brooke and I are in ASB and we're actually filling out the college wall. So if anyone needs to still fill out their post high school plans, we have a survey right in the hallway, right here. You can just scan the QR code and it will help you. You know, if you want to get your name on here, you might as well. So far, we're looking pretty cool. We got a ton of stuff on here and now we're just going to add the string. Okay, guys. So ASB is starting a new thing where if you find our new stuffed wildcat named Wally the Wildcat in the school, then you can get an ASB prize. So make sure to look out for this this week. And I'm pretty sure each week they'll change to a new location. So if you see this guy, grab him and then take him to the ASB room. Okay, so I just got home from school and now I am going to pick up the kids that I nanny for. So I gotta drive to Bellevue, go pick them up. I just got back from the kids house that I nanny and I just ate some dinner. And now, since my taxes are due tonight, I need to file my taxes and hang with my dogs. I think you can see one of them back there. Oh yeah, there he is. Okay, I just finished filing my taxes. Nothing like waiting till the last minute. And now I'm gonna do a little workout. For me, this is like an extremely important part of my day to either go on a walk or do a workout or do some yoga or meditate because it's just some time that I have to myself. And I feel like that is something that I really value is having time to myself where I can do something where I'm not on my phone or I'm not like focusing on what I want to do next. And it just kind of keeps me sane and it allows me to live like such a busy schedule. So I would definitely recommend anyone to do it because it really helps your mental health and just kind of give yourself something to do throughout the day that's good for you and not just for someone else, but just for yourself. So I'm going to go do that and then I'll probably take a shower afterwards and then I'm going to start on some homework. Okay guys, so I just brushed my teeth and put my homework away because it's time for me to go to bed. I like to get a good night's sleep because I just feel more prepared for the day. So it's like 11 o'clock. I'm going to bed and I'll see you guys later. Thanks. Thank you, Emma, for that amazing video. Up next, some students talk to teachers about what it's like to teach in an online environment. Hey, Cats, we're going to be interviewing some teachers to just ask them about their experience with online learning and what's been different this year. So I have Miss Brandon with me uh, first. So. That's my first question is, how much more late work have you had this year? 
a lot. We take late work all the time, so it's been a lot of uh, extra late work than I normally see. All right, and have you guys like moved any slower? And is it has that been like a challenge you've had to like work through? It's definitely been slower. It's definitely a lot less content than we get through in a year, and like definitely way less homework so like less gets done right so that's been a struggle for sure and then what's just one like positive thing or good thing maybe just at time or just going forward something that's maybe like changed that you've taken from this year i definitely think that like everybody's going to be really great at using schoology after this and know where everything is hopefully but other than that i think it's been good to be able to see everybody like partly in person at least yeah so, okay yeah. thank you awesome Hey, what's up, Wildcats? This is uh, Bags with a, you know, quick reflection on the year. Um, was asked about, like, student late work. Did it increase, decrease? Certainly it, it increased. I think most teachers have, have felt that. Um, you know, while I think the adults in, in the district, in the building, and community could have held you guys a little bit closer to account, and, and that may have seen more success for some of you, I think er erring on the side of caution and allowing some flexible due dates is sort of a reasonable thing in, in the midst of a global pandemic. Many people were in crisis. Uh, certainly learning this way hasn't been easy for any of us. So um, I've been okay with it, but it's been pretty overwhelming and, and, and really impactful um, on my ability to, you know, enjoy the job a little bit. You know, it's it's gotten in the way of some of the point parts of this gig that are uh, d generally more enjoyable. So um, in terms of positives, there, there have been some. It's been a rough year. I think we all know that. But like my students have really taken sort of ownership over like what we're learning about. They're, they're bringing in a lot of current events. We're having a lot of good, you know, conversations. They're really helping me understand them as groups and, and as individuals. And, and, and that helps me understand kind of where they're coming from, where their worldview is. So, um, you know, bravo for you guys bringing those things uh, and engaging in those conversations. Um, and then uh, in terms of how we're finishing the year, it's going to be, you know, we're not going to get everything in that we wanted. Um, and we, most of us knew that. But uh, we're squeezing in what we can and, and, and hoping, you know, to sort of uh, end the year on, on good notes for students. So um, been a tough year, but, uh, you know, there's always some good in it. And uh, I'd still rather be in a classroom with kids than uh, a cubicle with a bunch of adults any day. So y'all keep it up. Later. <laughs> Miss Waldendorp, what's your name? Miss <laughs> Waldendorp. Uh, what classes do you teach? This year I teach Big History, AP World, and AP Human Geo. That's awesome. You know, Mr. Bopp used to teach AP Human Geo. Good. I have tried to fill that gap, not successfully. No, he just left too big a hole. We miss him. How has teaching an AP class been online? Well, it's been challenging because the College Board last year um, made some changes to the curriculum so that we didn't because we couldn't cover everything. This year they haven't made any changes and so we've had to get through everything with like limited time. Um, since being in person though, it's been a lot easier, I would say. Yeah, I found that generally we've been rushing through the curriculum. Like yep. AP tests are like two weeks from now. Yep. And let me be 100% honest, like most of our classes we're still in covering content mode, not even review mode. Yeah, it's been really stressful. But we're getting there, and I, I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing about the online test. I don't know how you feel about that, but um, we liked it because it gave us more time. Do you ever just feel like all these kids are just playing Snake on their computer? Yes. Yes, and actually in class as well, I, they play that, what's that, traffic game? Uh, crossy Road. Because they only press the arrows? Yes. So, like, nobody types like that, so I know what they're doing because they're just only using the arrow keys. From the other I tell, like, keys. at least pretend to type with your left hand yeah. while you're using the arrow. Um, so what are your thoughts on the whole Zoom versus Teams fight? I think my money's on my money's on Zoom. Yeah, Zoom is much better. I mean, I was anti-Zoom this year because we had used Teams last year, but Zoom is so much better. Oh, yeah. What's you your favorite feature? Breakout. breakout rooms. The chat, although you can do the chat on Teams, but I almost wish we had like chat in person, mm -hmm. you know? No, I, I And the agree. poll feature is really cool too. Like if you do a practice question, mm. to be able to throw it up and see what people are answering. And um, yeah, that's really been helpful too. Yeah, no, I've, I found polls, the the reactions, the yeses or nos, mm -hmm. the, the thumbs up. Head. Yeah. It's just like, are you guys getting the content? Yes. No one ever does a thumbs up. Really? No. I have, I have one student that does it and it always makes me feel really happy, but 
Beans. Hey, Wildcats, we measured it, and we are this close to getting out of this pandemic. Sheesh. All you have to do is get vaccinated, and there is going to be an opportunity to get vaccinated at school this Thursday or Friday for your first dose, depending, or first or second dose, depending on whether or not you're on cohort A or B. Make sure you're getting vaccinated, and now we have pet of the week. Passed away.